So hello, and if you see saw this cringy video appear on your tab, it might here to introduce you to how to build your own moveset 101. Although I'm, I'm not a genius, I mean I'm perfect in every way. I'm uh, basically uh, the uh, oh, oh, most overpowered NPC on this planet here. So yeah, let me, let me begin. Now how you should build a moveset, like before I go, there's, if you look at them, build up a th theme build, for example a theme moveset. Uh, like you want a turtle school, uh, like every turtle school move, like Kamameha, uh, style rest, uh, last resort, or um, any of these, like the considered a turtle school or a hey, Yancha type moves. Yeah, I'm not here to tell you about that. I just hear how I build move set, and then, um, for example, people usually build. Some people build a move set that just uh, after a stamina break, you just start doing it like a one of the best combos that everybody ever seen. I mean, I, I've done better. I mean. Uh, I'm perfect, but yeah, I'm not here to show you how to do that. It's how I built one of my personal move sets, like how I see building move sets. So in the screen, I should, I might probably put something like uh, how I basically built a build, how I look on build, building a good move set, just like that. So yeah, let me begin at my first uh, slot, the Y slot. I think it's uh, uh, tri uh, triangle on PlayStation 4. I don't know. I play on Xbox. But yeah, I put new thing fist. I usually recommend uh, putting up combo enders in there because um, if you're like uh, after a stamina break and you like you don't have enough time to do a full on uh, a knock away into a uh, your ultimate, I just do a simple like uh, six or five hit combo and into new thing fist or time uh, breaker screwdriver or something it's called a hit move that just puts up a a. Uh, a shield in front of you, I don't, I don't, like a little bit of circle in front of you, that does a lot of damage, it's not, not a lot of damage, but it's something good that can do a little bit of damage if you're like in a tight situation, so yeah. And now for the second slot in your moveset, for, this is for beginners and for pros, because I'm also a pro by the way, I'm perfect, but the thing is, at the X button, I see it as a follow-up move, because my, I usually have my finger on the A button and the X button, most likely in the X one, so if I'm doing a knockaway combo, I should give my opponents to fear something in the end of that knockaway. You know, if they see that you're not utilizing your like uh, hits and you're not putting any damage, like something like uh, Savage Strike or Kamameha, one of my favorite moves because I have Super Soul, it does a lot of dam increases the damage of the Kamameha and also increases six times, up to six times, basic attacks. So yeah, basically follow-ups that you can quickly do, like Gigantic Breaker or Key Blast Thrust. Key Blast Thrust, to people that don't know this, is a Yancha move. I'm a Yancha fan, so yeah. You just throw it away. Your opponent is like a discount Super God Fist. You can follow up up with anything. It does a decent amount of damage, but Gigantic Breaker does more damage. It's like um, uh, the only problem with it, it costs two bars of key. So this is some examples. Follow up attacks it could be light grenade, could be darn ray. I don't know. Just something to give your opponent a reason to vanish. Now on the screen you might see like my build and what you can put in each slot is the basic idea of it. So yeah, you can put anything on the first slot, uh, follow ups in the second one, and the third slot, the B uh, button, the B slot, um, you have to put, I always put a charge up there because it's better with one than without one. When you need it, you really need it. Is it like your opponent picks a, or you pick a far away map, which, okay, you pick a far away map and uh, your opponent and you need something, your opponent is charging up, you're just going up to him and you're in a struggle position. You need to charge up and be at the same play, uh, advantage as him. You have the same playing field almost at least. And now for the A slot, the 4 slot on your moveset and your skill customizations. You have, um, I usually put there utility. What I see as utility, for example, super after image, after image, uh, backflip or any other move that can mildly inconvenience have an inconvenience on our opponent, like for example the Zarpa move that he just laughs at you and gives you a like a slow debuff. So I put that. I could put it that. I don't really like that move, but like you'll see a pattern with these. I put utility here because super after image, it's a move that people won't expect and it can help you like uh, if you do a back hit and you got stuck on the animation, you just do that and just vanish around and vanish behind your opponent. So yeah, one key for that one. And backflip costs no key and no um, nothing. It just just roll around and yeah it's something like that you just escape from them it's like getting unstuck from animations or having an inconvenience or an opponent's uh, playstyle giving them something else to uh, look after for example 
On this game, you look after uh, health, key, and stamina, and give him something else to manage. As you see here, the opponent has a moveset that uh, has two follow-up attacks. I couldn't manage that, so it's unmanageable, so yeah. And now for the ultimate. The first slot for an ultimate, actually the fifth slot, the move, I don't know what, the fifth slot, yeah. At the first one, at the Y ultimate, I put usually a high damage one, but here you see me having changed the structure of this because it feel, I feel like that move is underrated and does a decent amount of damage. It's not the highest damaging ultimate in the game, but, but yeah. So, I usually recommend putting there, uh, up there Soul Punisher, uh, uh, Dimension Ray, I think it's called, the Janemon Boo, because they do a lot of damage. And they're, um, when you have like, your opponent has a lot of stamina coming back, and it can do a decent amount of damage, and it costs 5 bars. So, you can have a 5 bar move, a 5 key bar move there, at the first uh, ultimate slot, and the second one a 3 bar, which I always recommend having a quick, easy, quick, easy, very good, low price, the best thing you can ever buy. So, an ultimate like Super Kamehameha, or... Um, uh, Burning Strike or Victory Rush, Giant Storm even, but I recommend Super Kamehameha because it's one of the fastest ultimates and like you can just knock your opponent away, it does a decent amount of damage and it costs like 3 bars a key. And that's a good price for an ultimate, does a decent amount of damage. You can also put Final Kamehameha there, but the reason I want one there because it has like, you're like fighting your opponent and you're short just a teeny tiny bit of key and you can't use it so you just waste the damage. So yeah, I, a quick ultimate, a good one, you're choosing, I just is the basics, how you go to a, a moveset in my opinion. And for the Oaken skill, it could be anyone, except like, if you want to build a moveset, don't use uh, Purification or Become Giant for Namekians, because those uh, Awokens change your, uh, or Powerful Combo, uh, Powerful Pro I think it's called, the Fly Nimbus one, uh, they change your moveset and I don't really recommend that. If, I usually use Super Saiyan, Potential Unleashed for the other um, races except Saiyans, but Super Saiyan, Super Vegeta, or um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Super Saiyan God, I mean Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved, any of those. And for the evasives now, you, ha you have to have a good evasives. My idea of evasive, it's Instant Rise, then Armored Boost. Armored Boost used to be the best evasive in my opinion in the game because it took you away from damage for a decent amount of time and it got you away from your opponent so yeah that and instant rise is the first evasive you get in the game one of my favorite evasives and yeah i never change this evasive it costs two bars of stamina one of the best ones in the game and armored boost um, helps you get away from damage it, the only thing is you can put any evasive but i usually recommend a two bar one because you don't want to have the disadvantage so yeah two bars gets you away from damage and if you made it this far of the video, dislike, but yeah, you can also put Fake Blast. I don't recommend Fake Blast because it doesn't feel like a move that gives you uh, a vague away from damage, gets you away from damage. Don't recommend that. Or, like, uh, Dragon Burn is a okay, I guess, but those moves, I don't feel like they give you a lot of protection. Don't get you away from damage, like Instant Rise does. So, yeah, I recommend these moves. And, yeah, so, if you have made it this far, dislike, unsubscribe, if you're subscribed. Or, subscribe, just to unsubscribe. So yeah, I'll 